My name is Piper and um, I am five years old. I'm about to be six. And what is the, what is the Cooper Welt? Uh, hello, I'm Sanjay Limay. I'm a planetary scientist here at the Space Science and Engineering Center, uh, University of Wisconsin-Madison. Now, the belt is not really a belt uh, in the sense that uh, Saturn's rings are not like a ring. They're, they're basically just orbits of small moons going around Saturn. And so the belt, of course, is not uh, a rigid uh, uh, space or uh, uh, an object. Uh, it's just a region. And aptly, it should be actually uh, probably shaped more like a donut. Uh, the Sun is in the middle. Uh, here's Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and then you see a bunch of uh, blue and orange uh, dots. And those are the different objects that have been discovered. And so those represent the Kuiper Belt. We have seen uh, dark patches on Pluto, which were uh, known from uh, light curve observations before. And that seems to correlate with the presence of methane. And that's one of the things that we can expect about the Kuiper Belt objects in that uh, these are spectra, this is the spectrum of Pluto, and this is a spectrum of a Kuiper Belt object. And they're very similar. But what you see is that the methane absorption lines that you see here and here are common to both objects. So we can expect that other objects, should we ever get a chance to visit them up close, they might be a lot like uh, Pluto, but Pluto has given us so many surprises, we have no idea uh, what to expect. And that's the thing about exploration is that uh, we can always be surprised. <laughs> we are naturally uh, a curious being. We want to know uh, who we are, how we got here, and are we alone? The quest for life, is there life elsewhere uh, in the universe? Uh, it's something that uh, is uh, something that every person has probably wondered about. Now, I'm not talking about intelligent life, I'm just talking about life, uh, like uh, microorganisms, bacterial form, and our ideas are evolving uh, every day, pretty much.